It's a really lousy world we're leaving for our children and grandchildren. I'll say, I'll say this about nuclear weapons. You know, I'm, I'm not sitting at the Joint, Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'm not in on the planning. Uh, I'll take it at face value that the chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff and the, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff successfully eliminated nuclear weapons in the initial phase of, of, of an operation. But keep in mind this, that the Bush administration has built a new generation of nuclear weapons that we call usable nukes. Um, and they have a nuclear you know, posture now which permits the preemptive use of nuclear weapons in a non-nuclear environment if the Commander-in-Chief deems U.S. forces to be at significant risk. If we start bombing Iran, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work. We're not going to achieve decapitation, regime change, all that. Um, what will happen is the Iranians will respond, and we will feel the pain instantaneously, which will prompt the Bush administration to move to phase two, which will have to be boots on the ground. And we will put boots on the ground. We will surge a number of divisions in, probably through Azerbaijan, down the Caspian Sea coast, in an effort to push the regime over. And when they don't push over, we now have 40,000 troops trapped. We have now reached the definition of significant numbers of U.S. troops in harm's way, and there is no reserve to pull them out. There's no more cavalry to come riding to the rescue. And at that point in time, my concern is that we will use nuclear weapons to break the backbone of Iranian resistance, and it may not work. But what it will do is this. It will unleash the nuclear genie. And so for all those Americans out there tonight who say, you know what, taking on Iran is a good thing. I just told you if we take on Iran, we're going to use nuclear weapons. And if we use nuclear weapons, the genie ain't going back in the bottle until an American city is taken out by an Islamic weapon in retaliation. So tell me, you want to go to war with Iran, pick your city. Pick your city. Tell me which one you want gone. Seattle? L.A.? Boston? New York? Miami? Pick one, because at least one's going. And that's something we should all think about before we march down this path of insanity that George Bush has us headed on.